get it uh, this is a convex x right uh, looks good it's uh, 12 MB um, so let's see if we can somehow reduce the size of this 12 MB maybe too much um, so let's see first what we're going to do is go to GLTF report you upload your file uh, and then you're going to export your GLB file okay there we go no, you're going to export as GLTF okay I'm going to export as GLTF and then separate uh, and then you could do Draco uh, that's fine Okay, I just have to name the thing. Okay, export. Okay. Now let's see. Okay, so basically we were able to extract out the the bin file, the GLTF file, and the textures that are related to it, right? Um, so if we take a look at this, take a look at the details. As you can see, the textures, which are the images, um, take the most space, or rather the the MB. Like uh, if you calculate all this, sort of going to be 12 MB, I guess. Okay, so what we're gonna do, right, is go to Squish. I think that's how you spell it. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Squish app, right? Uh, and then you take your image. Okay. So if you see, it Squish is uh, basically Squish uh, optimizes your JPEGs and and PNGs. So uh, if you take a look, this was 2.29 MB and then it's uh, brought it down 57%, so now it's only 983 KB. Um, if we take a look very close, I mean, so the right side is the new image, the left side is the old image, meaning, so we barely see any difference even at a, so that's pretty good. Um, we could actually like, um make it quality let's see oh as a matter of fact actually if you so if you lower the quant quality of the the image the higher i mean the lower um the size of the of the thing this uh, of the object so now you can see if i put it at 52 you can see a difference even then i'm pretty zoomed in if I'm, uh, let's just say I'm at this level, do I see a difference? Not really. It's pretty good compared to, so 2.29 to 75% um, reduction on that, right? And then the same thing we're going to do for the other one, too. Same thing, let's see, 75%. What do we see? Not bad, 764, okay, uh, that's fine, I'm not gonna, but you can adjust, the, you get the gist of it, right, and then the third one, right, 94%, 94%, um, right, okay, boom, so now, okay, we're gonna open up the folder again from the downloads and we're going to go to so where did this download again? Folder. Okay. Uh alright, I'm gonna open a new tab. And go back to our downloads and uh, this one, right? I'm just gonna delete the old ones. You can see this is the larger files. Come on, Windows. I don't, I don't know, but just trust me. Or hold on, view. All right. Uh, 
detail. Okay, yep, there's 2 MB, 2 MB, 7 MB, right? So I'm gonna delete these. Delete. Okay, and then the ones that, now you can see 4455 KB, 754, and 5665. Right? Oh, whoops. Okay, alright, now we're gonna go back to GLTF report. Okay, right? Uh, as we refresh, it's gonna go away. You're gonna upload the GLTF file again. Uh, download. Okay. Uh, let me may. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. Uh, one second. Once you have that, then you're gonna need to go to GitHub. And then search for the GLTF report. Now GLTF pipeline. Okay, right. So we're gonna we're gonna do this a little bit by code actually, and then we're gonna just we're gonna check check if what happens basically, right? So uh, let's take a look at this, right? Um, it's a node application. And we have to basically run these commands in order to uh, in order to convert our files into into uh, a GLTF GLB. We can open the GLTF file actually and make sure that it's uh, properly um, formatted. So let's take a look. All right. So we're gonna take a look at this. So now we're gonna let me make sure. I'm recording. Yeah, I think is Node.js, which you, if you're not familiar with it, it's uh, I don't. It's it's programming language. I guess I'm just gonna keep it like. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so once you download Node, right? So it'll give us the terminal, right? So the Node.js no basically is server-side uh, JavaScript. So, okay. so you're gonna just install everything, install Node.js. And by the way, you can, um, this is not just for this, but you know, any, um, JavaScript Node.js basically application you can run. I'm just showing you just so if someone didn't, doesn't, this is the first time. M install minus G space, I forgot the space, GLTF pipeline. <clears throat> Okay, it seems to have downloaded, right? So, so we we have a GLTF file and we want to make it into a GLB file, right? Uh, so pretty easy. Um, first, we're gonna go to the folder that 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 we have the bin and GLTF file and all that. So, um, okay, uh, right. So we're gonna let's download CD and DIR. Uh, what's it called? This one, a, let me see if I can copy. Then we're gonna go CD, paste. Okay, cool. So I'm there, DIR, and you can see you have all the files. So I'm gonna run the DLTF pipe. the pipeline I at the GLTF minus O model okay not model at the GLTF uh yeah okay 
so this is a good example actually so see it's giving us an error about being a png right the reason is a gltf file is basically a json uh, file so we can actually open that file in in a vs code or any other just uh, any notepad even um we don't we only have to do just uh, we only have to change one thing so jpeg 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 right so it's a jpeg um if we go and then we open the gltf we have to open it with um We have to open it with VS Code. Yeah, Visual Studio Code, okay? Um, you're gonna go open folder, uh, download, add. Okay, yeah, this, that, and then select folder, yep. <clears throat> and as you can see, you can actually see it here. You can you don't really, you can't really see the bin file, but you can see the jl gltf file, right? Search marketplace, maybe yep. You can install gltl tools. All right. Okay. Now we go back, right? Uh, we should really format it, but I'm not really sure. So it automatically knows to look for the images basically and the name, but we can just make sure. So, so like if we take a look, make sure, okay, X underscore one, and it's a JPEG file, so that's fine. Okay, um, but let's see, so that one was good. Uh, Okay, there we go. So X number three is PNG. So we have to change that into JPEG because that's the new file that we just reduced, right? And any other PNGs? Okay, uh, that's fine. I think I can. Okay, if I can change, this, I can change this to JPEG. I think it tells you right because the other JPEG is like that. Okay, we just make sure that there is no PNG into the thing. Cool, perfect. Save it. All right, we're gonna go back to our terminal now. Okay, and go back to the terminal, and then now we're gonna convert the GLTF file into a GLB file. Okay, now it should work with the same command, right? It should. Oh, actually, uh, oh, I changed. Sure, let's try again. Okay, there we go. Um, yep, so it worked. So now we're gonna go back to GLTF report, and as we can see, we actually um, changed it from GLTF to GLB, and then we go back, uh, download, and you can see bin file build file. 
Yes, here we go. Yes, so uh, this is 2 MB, right? Our original one, right? Our, our original one, one, okay? So the same one it was 12 MB. So we reduced 10 MB basically. And if you notice, I'll go back to my downloads and the one that we just optimized. So, let me clear it. 2 MB. If, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, really tell the difference. I mean, this is 2 MB, right? And let me open up another one. TLTF record. Uh, and I'm gonna upload uh, all melee weapons. So this file was ac actually like made in Blender and, and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, look at this: two, 12 MB to 2 MB, using um, pretty much the this GLTL pipe pipeline, and then and then squish that app to squish the materials into a smaller size basically so yeah uh, that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching